what's going on you guys I just want to do a little quick video here on a furnace that I'd found last week there was a lady that she doesn't live in this house but she was spending the night there and at some point during the night her carbon monoxide detector had gone off so she went ahead and got up turned the furnace off just put her clothes on and got out of there and left she went back to her other house and she called us and scheduled an appointment so I go down there and I put my carbon monoxide detector in the exhaust of this furnace and it shot up over 2,000 parts per million. I've, I didn't even know my detector could go that high and I thought, my God, what's going on with this furnace? So, anyway, you can see this is a York. Right there's the model and serial number. That is the date of installation, guys. This furnace ain't that old. And it was running propane. Everything had been converted properly. I know you can't see this. I don't have very good light here. Um, but gas pressure was set properly on there. You know, it was right there is where it was recorded. And whenever we, we pulled this thing out, because she decided I don't even want that furnace in my house anymore. If it's putting off that carbon monoxide, I don't want a free heat exchanger. I want the thing gone. So she went ahead and replaced it with a new one. So we got it out and I started looking at the heat exchanger and hell, it doesn't look that bad. I mean, you can see where it's been hot, but there are definitely no cracks or anything on the lower part. Everything looked great. I couldn't find anything wrong with it. But right back here's the problem. And this freaking took my breath away, guys. Look at that. This is the back side of the furnace. If you can see, there's the furnace, there's the front. I peeled open the back. And right there's what it looks like. This metal on the back of the cold collector box where the heat exchanger turns into the secondary. This metal's paper thin to begin with. Just right off the assembly line. This stuff's it's thin as paper. I don't know why in the hell York would make that that thin like that, but you know, whatever has happened to this thing, this metal is just pliable. It's almost like paper mache. So this thing is is a nightmare. And this lady's lucky that she had a carbon monoxide detector or she might have died. Cause I've never gotten readings that high on a furnace before. And you know, that's one of those where it sort of takes your breath away, man. You see something like that, and you see that little old lady standing there talking to you, and you're thinking, lady, you are lucky to be alive. But you can see up here in the front, I'm gonna see if I can get a light in here to where you can see that there has not been any rollouts. There's nothing blackened in here at all. Man, I can't really get in there, but if you can see back there in the back, everything looks good there is no indication that this thing has ever been burning properly or anything. Eh, it's about impossible to see, guys, but you just got to take my word for it, man. Those burner tubes are clear. No signs of blackening or burn or anything, but I would imagine that if there's one like this, there's probably thousands of these out there, and little do people know that the Old back end of their furnace looks like this you just got to hope and pray that they've got a carbon monoxide detector or somebody's going to be dead so anyway guys this is a bad bad deal right here probably the worst one i've ever seen so anyway let's see where's that model and serial number one more time just so you know what to be looking for right there it is All right. Anyway, guys, I just thought I'd show you that. Thanks for watching. Give me a comment, a thumbs up. I'll catch you next time.